Good morning, everybody. It's Brian here from Native Bird Boxes. I hope that you're doing well. Real quick, I just wanna go over something with you in uh, terms of planting pine trees to try to help the other established areas, either in a location where it was totally void pine trees or uh, in a location where you want to enhance more pine trees, maybe that have been at loss from pine boring beetles, which will be a topic of discussion, or maybe a storm. So how did the pine boring beetles get there? What was a damage sequencing of some of the pine trees? Well, very easily it could have been from a hurricane, a tornado, a lightning strike, wet feet, maybe there was mechanical damage. Uh, these are all different catalysts that can cause a pine tree to get stressed out, which then would instigate the beetles. So once the engraving beetles are able to colonize in one pine tree, then what you will find is that they will colonize that entire tree once they decimate it and kill it by deterring all of the nutrients and the water resources and the xylem and phloem layer of that tree and it dies, then they're just gonna fly on to the next tree and colonize it again. And at some point in time, yes, that cycle would stop, but whenever you have limited resources and a limited location of pine trees, the last thing that you want to do is to lose all of your pine trees. So check this out. This particular property has very few pine trees on it in regards to ones that are over 50 and 60 foot tall. But look at all of these beautiful saplings. So this particular country club has utilized a particular landscape company uh, with saplings that they've gotten from the forestry division and have planted these things either in one gallon or in three gallon pots as they have continued to grow in size. Most of these, and I'll stand right next to one currently, here we are. This thing is only about four and a half, maybe five foot tall. It originally was planted, it was a sapling and it's one, in a one gallon pot. So it has slowly started to mature. This particular location did not have these pine trees here in this large bed. And what they have done, as you can see off in the distance, from golf hole to golf hole, used to be able to line and just sit there and look and depict one hole next to the other. And there was no delineation in between the golf holes. So what they wanted to do was create corridors and segments with native landscape planting. So what they have done is plant all of these saplings here. And congratulations and hats off to them for being proactive because they want to know that later in life, it could be 10 years, 15, 20, 30 years down the road, these particular pines, is, this is gonna be a beautiful pine forested area that's gonna divide this golf course, providing additional ecosystems and wildlife and habitat out there. What I will do is show you here shortly another location, so that way you have an idea more of the sizes that these have grown up to in the last, say, seven years to see what it looks like. Okay, so we're still on that same property. Remember I was telling you about those other smaller trees that were back there and all the saplings, how they were planted? Check this out. Look at how big and beautiful these are. So respectfully, these are about six to seven years old. They started out as very small saplings. The particular company that these trees were bought from went to the forestry division, was able to buy a bulk load of them and started the process of putting them into one gallon pots and then attritioning them all the way up to three gallon and seven gallon units before they needed to be put into the ground. To protect the investment, this particular location wants to make sure that these pine trees are gonna be around for a long time. So investment of the pine boring beetle trap systems also to be able to keep on collecting the beetles to keep them at bay and at a level of sustainability for the native pine trees. Yes, those native beetles will be here year round. However, when one of these pine trees gets colonized by the pine boring beetle, next thing you know, one tree at a time, they will decimate them. So in order to protect the investment, what they have done is installed these pine boring beetle traps, which we will help to maintain and collect then the beetles from them to make sure that the long-term investment continues and prevails. If you all need any more information on this, give me a call. Happy to hook you up with the pine boring beetle traps, but also this wonderful company that's gone forward with the forestry division, getting the pine trees and putting them into pots so then that way they're available for you. Because it's a permit type of a thing and you get put into the lottery system to be able to get these large bulk allotments of them. So, but happy to help you out. Give us a call. It's Brian at nativebirdboxes.com or 239-825-1679.